What's really exciting for the launch of this album is we're doing a short film. I'm so excited about that. It's going to be so awesome. Three, ten, two, ten, Sean Desmond a live dance competition. Feel the love, feel there are over thousands and thousands of people that submitted for this contest, but there's only 10 finalists. If they win, they'll end up the part in the movie alive. Don't be afraid. It's inside of you. My whole career has been about music. It's been about dance. And myself and RT want to do something really cool, really different for this project. I want you to come with me. Brandon, you got this something. When you're dancing, I just want to watch and I can't take my eyes off you. You kill that. Yo, give it up for her, give it up for her. You guys are both stars and we're going to be seeing you a lot. Judges, do you have your decision? Three, two, one. You're both going to be in the live. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got our dancers, Brandon, Diona. It's off to rehearsal and off to shoot. Let's go. Nobody doesn't like you. Sammy and RT and Sarah and whoever else go off to the ACC. Really, someone from the AD department needs to be there also. Like, what? This is yours. Yeah. Why didn't nobody send me a script? You didn't get a script. No. Well, I have it, but I didn't print it. Oh, <laughs> I, I tried to print, to print my own it. script. <laughs> on the streets, all around. So we're here at the Any Creative Headquarters. Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, so now we're talking about the concert. We're shooting at the Big Jingle. It's this great concert that uh, that Much is putting on. 5 p.m. concert starts. But In the film, Sean's looking for dancers for uh, to go on tour with him, and our lead character, uh, Liv, is watching TV and she sees Sean on Much Music announcing that he's having a dance competition and she decides to enter it as well. She goes to Toronto, she auditions, and she just might be performing at the Big Jingle with Sean. We'll have to see. I'll be there with cameras if it happens. So you already shot for the video? Yeah, I just saw it. My name is Caitlin Leib, and uh, most recently you might have seen me in Total Recall or Degrassi, the LA Complex. <laughs> yeah! I'm Melinda Shankar, and I've been on Degrassi for about five years on Much Music, and it's always nice to be on another project in the same network, so this time around I'm playing Caitlin in Alive. Interior, Sean Desmond concert, night. Standing in the middle of the crowd, a bright-eyed Liv is transfixed as she watches Sean Desmond and his dancers rock out. Her boyfriend, Matt, stands next to her. What do you think is going to be the most challenging about this one? The dancing. Are you a dancer? I used to be a dancer, like, years ago. I got sent all the uh, audition videos. Like, they, they had broken it down to maybe ten girls to play Liv. And I saw Caitlyn, and I was like, she doesn't have an, an, you know, this huge dance background, but it was so believable, and she killed it in the audition. And I knew right away she was my first pick. And I know at the end of the day, RT wanted the same thing. It's serious, so we wanted good actors, and you know, the dancing stuff would, would, uh, would happen, it would come after. What were you saying, you want to change what? Uh, I, yeah. The last part of the day is we're gonna go to Much Music. We're premiering uh, Sean's brand new single, Dumb to Dumb. She's just a girl. And I'm just a boy. Sometimes things happen and we don't have a choice. How are you? You interviewing me? Mm -hmm. Us? Yes? yes. Awesome. You both awesome. together? When you watch the video, you will be introduced to our lead character, Liv, and her boyfriend. So you'll have the backstory of their romance that you will pick up in the film. Jump and directed by RT and it's a little introduction to the epic movie you are making called Alive. We're speaking in a language that only lovers speak. What's the language step with the left? Yeah, you're gonna go with the way. So you're gonna go boom. Here, here, you're going to take a step at the right leg. My name is Brie Wazalenko, and I am playing Roxy in the movie. Goom, 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 step back, left, step back. I've been dancing for, well, it's been 20 years now. I've been in two of Sean's videos, so I was in Shiver, and I was also in Money Shop, so it's exciting to be working with him again on the movie. Give me that, give me that money, give me that money, that money shot. So these guys are soldiers, they've been going since 8 a.m. 
and they're gonna be going until 5 p.m. I'm exhausted, they're on point. Here you go, one more time. I feel like my brain is shutting off a little, and it's like if you stop thinking for a one, or not even a half a second, it's like I, you kind of like, it, you're like, you draw a blank, you know? I applaud them because our butts were kicked. Like, I'm sweating, I'm exhausted. I was working hard and I had to really push myself for the two of them to be in here and learning this quick choreography that was just thrown at them so fast. They were like fighting for their life and, and really going for it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. The week ahead is more rehearsals. It's rehearsals every day. And then from then on in, it's just, it begins. <laughs> I don't even want to look. We're gonna be bad bruises. tomorrow. I have bruises from yesterday. Yeah. I won't give up on you. No matter what they say. Did you see me doing that first? Da, 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 and then she's like, and then she does it, or is it like, is it the way we just did it? I think there has to be a little bit of like, she's got to like. Try it. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. So today we're rehearsing the pretty big dance scene because it's one of the it's one of the major ones in the movie. Yeah. Liv comes to my dance studio and she catches me like in the middle of a moment, like rehearsing my steps. I'm super slow on that part. Okay. But maybe I'll get it by then. But Sounds I know good. that you're not gonna be here. Yes, exactly. So but you'll you'll be fine. The lead, she's an actress, and she's just learning how to yeah. dance as of really? Monday. <laughs> this was not her forte. So she's such a trooper and we have been giving her a choreography um, of what a professional dancer would be doing. I feel physically exhausted. I'm like every muscle, I, like these muscles in my body I didn't even know knew existed are like aching. It takes me 10 minutes just to sit up and get out of bed. I'm not even kidding. I'm impressed because I can tell that she's really a trooper and she really wants this. She will actually go home, practice, and when she comes back, she's retained the information. So now it's more about, you know, the challenge is making her look as professional as what an actual professional dancer would look like. It feels better just like you actually just talking okay. and yeah, so it's like relaxing. And it feels more serious too. Right. right. Guys, let's do one without music. Here we go, play please! We're in the Crystal Ballroom, we're in uh, the King Eddie. This is like the pivotal part of the film we staged here, which is the which is the audition for Liv. She gets to come and audition for Sean. And then there's also another scene where she gets to dance a duet with Sean. Pull, two, three, throw it, and then drop sharp. Like really make sure y'all swing. Ha! Stop right there. Try it one more time. It's that line that drives me nuts. We chose this location for these two scenes that are both the up and the down of, of the film. It's, it's like Liv reaches her worst moment here and then probably has her best moment here since moving to Toronto. We chose this because of its legendary status, number one, and two, it's a beautiful location. 17th floor, it looks out on the city and uh, it has this incredible aesthetic. It is falling apart, but it's, but at the same time, it's still standing. It's, it's kind of like a duality. It's sort of a theme that we're working with with the film, which is in order to have success, you must have failure. You have to know how it is to fail at something in order to appreciate when you succeed at it. So it's very important. Speeding at 60. Got it. The whole theme of the movie is, great, you can do the dance, but can you dance the dance? There's a difference between just doing some steps and performing and really dancing and feeling it. People are gonna eat and people are gonna go for it. You gotta find a way to connect. That's what's gonna make you special. Don't people like this? Like, uh, it was intimidating dancing with every dancer that's been on this project. Bree is a professional dancer, Sean, all of his dancers are professional. Even the girls in the audition, they were all amazing dancers and I was super intimidated during training. Hey, cutting. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Not right now. I wanted to shoot here. None of my crew, my producers, <laughs> wanted to shoot here. Just won't stop falling Five, six, When the world can't hear you calling out 
Not right now. They, they, they are still figuring it out. I wanted to shoot here. None of my crew, my producers, <laughs> anybody else um, who's smarter than me wanted to shoot here. There's no power on the top floor. You have to cable power from down in the basement. That's 17 floors, up stairwells. So let's just put it this way. Guys who have to do that hate me right now. Sean Comp this album. When you watch the movie, she comes back to the studio only to find me like rehearsing. Like this is this is my space, right? So it's you know nobody's there. It's me by myself. This is me going through my my stuff. That scene is like it's a challenge for me to her. Let's go. I'm going to show you some stuff. I want to see what you got. It's going to be so different because we can't see each other. We didn't rehearse with the mirror, so it's actually a part that we kind of had to fix because it's part where we're supposed to be touching the mirror and leaning on the mirror. Oh, but it was so finicky that. We had to fake it. Like even if we were both doing it at the same time, we probably would have like went right through it. It kind of stinks when you don't have a chance to see the prop before you work with it, because then you, as, when you get there, you know you're gonna have to adjust. And you know, for Caitlin, who's not a dancer, adjusting's a little bit harder, right? Because she has this choreography in her head, and then you know, you're on set the day of, you're gonna shoot it. So like, okay, we gotta change all this stuff. So if you're not used to that, it's kind of nerve-wracking. But honestly, Caitlin was amazing. Everything from the audition to you know, mine and her like her our big dancing, she was she was great. We are shooting the first meeting of Liv and her mentor to be the hardcore, the military Lincoln. Who the hell is this in my class? I'm what? I'm Casey Collins, and I am playing the role of Lincoln, dance choreographer, the dance choreographer. She's not seeing what you're doing. Right, right, right. Right? right, right, right. So, you could be like this. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah? Okay. Oh, come on, yeah. you more credit than that. And play back. We have worked very hard to do this, Caitlin and I, to put it together, and I think we finally got it. Day one, I was a little like, you know, but now it's like chroma embedded into my brain, and I'm really excited to just get it out and done. So they told us um, to pick it up, and if we get it, then they'll throw us in. Yeah, probably like three hour rehearsal. It's oh, yeah. like 20 minutes. Like five, like five minutes. Like five, okay, just watch it, pick it up, kill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll kind of feel live at the end. Okay, we'll see, you know, okay? Shotgun. We're gonna have uh, Diona, who's one of our contest winners. So you can, you can come and watch her. When they check you in, did you feel prepared? Yeah, man, I was prepared. Yeah. <laughs> no? It's just, it was cool just because, like, pressure, let's go, come on. If you want it, you gotta get it. And you can see, like, everybody on the sidelines were looking at us, like, no way. And they're so nice. They, they actually really came over there, like, <laughs> when they're not on set, they're coming over to help us. They're like, yeah. hey, this is it, this is it. We're like, hey, thank you, thank you. Let's just shoot it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. All right, here we go. We're filming uh, the scenes where Liv and Caitlin are working at the coat shop in the club. How are you doing? I'm tired. I'm really tired today. You probably notice that he's he's like there, but he's not actually looking at okay. you. He's yeah. looking down here. So you're like. And frame. And action. I feel exposed. <laughs> well, good. Guys love skin, and skin makes tips, and tips pays for your rent. I got a smile that's written on my face. I just 
finished upstairs. We did Caitlin and Melinda at the club. And you know, it just shows them bonding together and stuff like that, becoming really good friends. And so Sean just mm -hmm. laying on that uh, left, left leg. Yeah, yeah. cool. TMT? Yeah. yeah. And then we're about to go shoot uh, top of the movie where Sean inspires Liv. This is like the first meeting of Sean and Liv uh, where he kind of tells her what she's got to do to get it popping. Do you want me to so use this like, as, uh, a, people, as a talk to them? Or like, just work just as a movie yeah. with the just yeah. watch Just watch He eats every scene. So you can just He's go right from there. Eating. He's yeah, doing it's true. He's a money ball. We, we do have like a bromance happening. I've been working with him, honestly, for seven years now. You know, he's done every video since Red Hair, which was just two albums ago. Like so I've done a lot of projects with our team. I'm the kind of person that ain't broke, I don't fix it. Good and like honest and nice people are hard to find. Hope I see you on stage one day, Liv. All right, got a mouthful of pasta right now. I don't like it, think cut it, about. cut it. Five I think we're good to go. All right, here we go. Finals, anyone need them? We good? Happy? Here we go. First positions, and we're going to roll on this one. Here we go. Roll so, sound, please. So Sam, let's, we'll just stay on Caitlin this time. For the first? You got it. And then Marker. Speed. And frame. <clears throat> Tell. And action. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Cut it, cut it. Turn it up, right. turn it up. Action. So we're wrapped on our first location, which is uh, Liv and Caitlin's funky downtown loft apartment. We got a lot of little cool, little funny moments, and uh, and now we're moving on to our concert scene over at the Much Big J. Oh man, you should see me yesterday when we got to rehearsals. It was like. I walk in and we walked in behind the stage and I just saw like all the empty seats. Like this, the ACC. What are you doing in my I do not try lights. to look. Yeah, you see lights, you see blackness. As soon as you start to like search for purple spaces, you're shopping. So don't do that. I'm not going to. Don't do that. Just like look far out. You have lights blind to you. <laughs> Ted was, Ted was awesome. Um, we did it a few times on stage. Uh, it was interesting because Luther hadn't seen it yet. It was his choreography, but it was put on us through somebody else. So it was the first time he was seeing it. So we'd perform it once and then it'd come off stage and we'd go, okay, switch this. This needs to happen at a different time. Come on different sides, different arms here. I'm like, okay, cool, which I'm used to, but Caitlin wasn't. And we had this loud music going on the whole time, so it was it was tough to figure out. It's really overwhelming at the beginning, but Right. By the very last run, I felt pretty comfortable, but that was with no one there. <laughs> like, it's going to be a different situation tonight. Okay, hey, let's get out! So, Moment of truth! Uh, <laughs> no pressure! No pressure. 20,000 kids yeah. screaming at you? Yeah, man. It's crazy. Okay, now I'm nervous, you guys. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna like look at anybody. I'm just gonna focus out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut it all out. Mm -hmm. When you set up for like a live performance, you only get sort of one shot at it, so you camera gotta be in focus, uh, all that type of jazz. Are you nervous? Um, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Once we have time to like sit down and like go over everything. All right. Uh, moment of truth. So we're here at the Big Jingle, getting ready to go on stage, and um, I feel the nerves in the dressing room. I know Caitlin's kind of, she's nervous. I mean, she just got here. She was shooting all day, um, so she's back there running through all the stuff right now for live. And I can see it, but I, she's gonna be fine. I mean, you know, she's been rehearsing a lot, and the nerves are gonna help her when she sees the crowd. It's gonna pump her up so much that. She's gonna do just fine. Yeah, they're running ahead of schedule, so okay. we should go find our positions right now. Um, the only concern I have is we only have one shot. Sam, get this way. We gotta be on point, and the camera crew has to be on point, because if they don't get a proper shot, then, I mean, we totally messed up the scene. The camera all the way in there. We need to go over We're gonna do it now.
once I got on stage, when the music started, it was like all of a sudden my nerves completely disappeared. And it was just like I knew what to do and it was it was fun. It was like, oh, I can just go up there and perform. Toronto is my hometown. And so it's that much more special. And it was such an amazing show. And Caitlin rocked it. I knew um, Caitlin would pull through. She's been rehearsing for this moment, so she just knocked it out, man. It was crazy. Wow, that was nerve wracking, but uh, it went off smashing me. And uh, we got great footage from my three cameras. So it was beautiful, man. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. We got it. It was beautiful. Caitlin did a good job. Superstar. I didn't feel superstar. When I came up, yeah, I started crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of cute. Cool. It was a really cool experience to go through those changes and just to be on something, like to be on a stage and perform at something so big as the Air Canada Center. It was fun. Yes. All right, here we go. If I could do that, <laughs> I could do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I think the plan and the, the, the reason for doing this movie is, is giving the audience, giving, you know, everybody different content and not just giving them an album with music on it. You buy the album and you get this, this movie on it, which I think is awesome, you know, and much music being involved in this huge premiere. And it's also to get a buzz going, because nowadays it's like with all the social media and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, um, it's about finding new ways to reach the audience. You know, how do you do that? Is it me? posting a naked pic of myself on Twitter, or is it me filming a movie that's based around my album, you know? I think I'm gonna lead towards the album one. <laughs>